Welcome back to Korean Tapas. This is episode 6. Okay, hello, this is Ji Sang, and this will be my first time to present the topic by myself. And as always, I'm going to introduce my beautiful and wonderful colleagues. Miki, hello. Ah, hola, hi. Ricard, hello as well. Hey, how are you guys? I'm good, I'm good. So today we're going to talk about the Christmas culture in Spain and Korea, which is the topic that I recommended from the beginning of our show. I'm going to present the topic of the Christmas culture, especially the cultural differences between Spain and Korea, because personally I felt there exists a um, lot of differences. I mean, very clear differences. So this might be very interesting topic for both of us and for their listeners in Spain and Korea. To begin with, I want to suggest the difference between the festive period in Korea and Spain. So, Binki, could you begin with your idea? Yes. Uh, and conceptually, uh, in per the period of Christmas in Korea, experientially starts from the December or the last of November. Uh, from that time, we have a Christmas tree in all around the Korea, for example, in the company, in the cafeteria, in the restaurant, and in home too. Uh, in my experience, I made my Christmas tree from 1st of December. I remember that my brother and I built, built some Christmas tree and with some, what can I say, the accessory like stars decorations uh, decoration yes conceptually it starts from last of november i almost agree with you that in korea uh, traditionally we have the that we have that festive period of the christmas from only a few weeks before christmas like at the beginning, I, I mean, from the beginning of the December in general, but compared to the time we spent when we were very young kids, I think we are we started to celebrate the holidays quite early under earlier than before, like even from November. For example, I can see that uh, we have lots of Christmas related commercials or events that can be seen obviously from November. So, for example. Um, in Starbucks, which is very global, but especially famous and popular franchise in Korea, they start their mm -hmm. uh, Christmas-related events right after the Halloween period, which ends around the at the end of October. So I think nowadays it's quite easy to see and feel the atmosphere of the Christmas from November. Yes, yes, I can see yep. that. Yes, probably you're right, yeah. We, are, we, we want to have the festival atmosphere for a longer time. Yeah. What about in Spain then? So interesting enough, I mean, you're only mentioning Christmas, but what about, what about people that don't, they're not Christian? Uh, have you, I mean, I, I don't know in Korea, how is it? But here more and more, right? You have people from, I don't know, different um, religions. Um, so I, I, I try like surely. Um, everybody thinks about Christmas, but I think here you see more and more that it's more of a holiday period rather than only Christmas, like baby Jesus and all those things. Um, at least I, I see it at work because it's so multicultural at work that we no, don't say Christmas anymore. We just say it's, it's holiday period, a holiday season, uh, holiday break, um, but they don't mention Christmas at all. Uh, I share what you guys are saying about um, the start dates. Yes, every year it's even earlier. So I'm guessing by in the, in the next 10 years, we'll start in, in, in summer. I don't know, but it's, it's just too early. Um, but I guess um, there's a reason behind it. If you start putting things up earlier, uh, people spend more earlier. The, the shops put up lights and trees and whatever because people feel more engaged to spend money. <laughs> That's the whole reason. 
Okay, at least up to now we haven't seen any of clear differences between Spain and Korea, but I think when it comes to the detailed atmosphere, I can say that there might be very clear differences in terms of the culture of the Christmas. So, for example, in Korea, I think the general atmosphere, I mean, the general images of those holidays are like, for example, special days for a dating couple or building up romantic relationships, which are quite common and very um, representative images that we have during those holidays. In, uh, in other words, this is partly compared. This is partly connected to what Ricard tried to um, emphasize. Is that in Korea the Christmas period? I mean, the general holiday period is very less religious, except for people with strong belief. So um, even though I mentioned that specific name, the Christmas, we don't. I mean, general. I mean. Um, Lots of Korean people won't think about the rel a religious image of the concept itself, even though everybody knows what the day means. So it's mostly about the couple dating outside or holding events, very um, festive period. Like that's all. It's more of... Um, you get free time off work. It's exactly. I cannot say if this is very objective expression for this concept or not but i think it's more of a um, capitalistic i don't know i don't know how to describe the thing it's pragmatic i, I think here you, you would you would find um the two different sets of people right you would have people who are actually believe in these things and when then they go meet the church and they they do believe on, on the whole thing right and that's it, fine and it's it's up to them and there's other people like like me for instance who i mean i celebrate it but i don't i'm not a a Christian, I'm not a believer, right? So, so I just, you know, take the opportunity to enjoy time with my family and and eat special foods and whatever. The interesting thing is that I was Christian for ten years, although the first image of the Christmas is the romantic thing, hmm. like restaurant. I mean, the good restaurant and good wine, good hotel, something like that. Interesting. So, is it could, could it be that um, Christmas here in Spain or maybe Europe has more similarities to the, your Lunar New Year, where you go back home exactly. and you meet your family, rather than your Christmas? Actually, that's what I was trying to say, and that was the thing, the very first thing that I felt when I celebrated the Christmas. I mean, when I stayed in Europe during the Christmas period. So the atmosphere was exactly like that of our Lunar New Year or Korean Thanksgiving Day. Actually, the more accurate reason, I mean, accurate or possible reason for um, why we are not celebrating, I mean, why we don't consider the Christmas as a day for family reunion is because the history itself is very short in Korea. I mean, we only accepted that concept. I mean, the Christmas holidays... I mean, less than a hundred years ago, so only a few decades ago, I guess. Obviously, it, it's from the Western culture. So, so Wingy, do you want to add anything about? That? So I watched one drama today, uh, a soap opera, and it starts from saying about the Christmas, like one man didn't have a girlfriend, so he asked uh, one of the, his friend that please introduce anyone to be with in Christmas. So, this so it's is important quite, to be with someone during Christmas. Yes, yes. This is so mm. quite not. I won't, I won't say this is common, but the concept that Christmas is being with girlfriend or boyfriend. If you don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend, you have to sleep. Of course, I I agree with this thing, and this is like very common image among all Korean people. But obviously, uh, there are lots of people who don't like this image, or yeah, because. You know the original meaning of the Christmas is actually from the another thing. So yeah. Well, but I mean, you could also see it here. I mean, in the end, not everybody has a, a full big family, or maybe your you, your parents are longer here or whatever, and and you just have your 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 partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. Then you spend your time with them, which you consider your family, right? 
But you're saying that maybe even like three or four days before Christmas, you're going to have a girlfriend. You try to find a girlfriend just in that period of time. So you're going to spend the 25th uh, with this person. Okay. I see. <laughs> Actually, I can explain and name some of the detailed differences. So, for example, uh, imagine that we are, we are on the Christmas day and we are all uh, walking outside the street. On the streets in Korea we can see tons of people hanging out on the streets and all the shops bars and restaurants are open and full but that even though the hottest time is the Christmas Eve itself but I heard and saw that in European culture in Spain as well lots of people are just spending that day inside their house and all the streets are empty is that true it is so, so uh, uh, most workplaces they, they give you um, either either like the I mean for those poor people that have to work the 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 twenty fourth um, they maybe they they finish earlier uh, or some some companies like mine they just give you the entirely the twenty fourth because they, they feel like you should spend the time with your family or maybe you have to travel to your family so so definitely nobody should be working <laughs> the twenty fourth um, if they if they can. Uh, people don't go. I mean, surely, yeah. If the, the world is big, and you will find people going out for partying on the twenty fourth. Sure, but I think the majority uh, would be spending a nice dinner at home with family or girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever. Uh, but the, staying in and having a nice dinner, uh, special dinner, essentially. Yeah, singing songs, maybe you know, with with the Christmas spirit, <laughs> whatever. Okay, did you see or experience any types of differences in terms of this day? I think the more Christmas event of the Spain is what do we call it? Tres Reyes de Magos. Mm, right. So the, what is it? Three kings or three wise men? Um, so that that's on the sixth of January, right? So it depends on on. I mean, you know, the, of course, this is part of of the history of the baby Jesus. Uh, the, those three kings who brought presents to, to 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 baby Jesus um so it, it it goes from from family to family right uh there are families who prefer to do Santa which I don't know feels very American to me um and there are other families who prefer to do the three kings um I mean I don't know it depends I mean uh, I remember on, on my case we had family members who did it on the 25th so we, we celebrated maybe with grandparents 25th but then with with uh, my parents, we did it on the sixth. Uh, it really depends on family to family. Um, in in a more pragmatic approach, uh, the kids would like to have the presents on the twenty fifth, so they have more time to play with them. Mm. But uh, because then, if not, if you give them the presents on the sixth, they'd only have one day to play until they have to go back to school, which is maybe mm. the seventh or the eighth. But yeah, it goes from family to family. I, I I wouldn't know which one is more popular. Interesting, as you just mentioned, the gifts of. The Christmas to the kids, I want to also ask and mention about the belief of the Santa Claus. In Korea, I think like most of the kids believe in the existence of Santa Claus. But the truth is usually I mean I mean probably for probably the experience of Minky will be the same, but I'm gonna have to say like uh, parents bring presents quite secretly to make them believe that the present is given by Santa Claus. But my experience, when kids become seven or, se seven or eight, they came to recognize the truth by chance or being told by parents. This is very common in Korea, I guess. How do you think, Mindy? <laughs> I believe until when I was until 18, until 18, not, not, not 20, but 10 years old, uh, no, 12, 12 years old, I was you know, wow. I was so pure. I'm so pure. <laughs> I'm a country boy again. <laughs> pure, pure heart, pure mind. Oh, but, so but as Jisang said, after elementary school, we all know the truth. That... It's different. So, oh, I see. So in, in the countryside, it's more like, you know, it's about happiness and you believe. But on, on the city, it's a jungle. So it's like <laughs> at six year old, you already know the truth, the hard truth. <laughs> more but or more, probably know. he might he he <laughs> might be the last one to know the truth from his school so i, re I remember at, 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 i don't know exactly when i discovered this but i remember being at school and there was a girl who did not know 
So the others, like uh, right after the, the holiday period, we, we mm-hmm. came back and she was explaining us, oh, Santa came to my home, blah, 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 oh. to the window. We were like, what? That's not real. <laughs> Why? What? So she started crying because we, we all assumed oh. that this girl knew the truth, but she didn't. And, and oh. you know you know how boys are, like <laughs> all kids are, are mean. Uh-huh. So so we just told her the, the truth and she started crying. Um, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> You're so okay. <laughs> no, kids are mean. All kids are mean. It's, it's not me. I mean, Jisang, did you believe? I mean, I really believed, but did you believe? My memory is quite vague at the moment, but I think I. <laughs> God, I you're so in... old. It's true. It's so many years ago. <laughs> Forty but years I... ago. <laughs> but I clearly remember that I believed in the existence until I get to second or third grade of elementary school. But I mean, when when I became nine or eight, I recognized that this is technically or scientifically impossible for him to <laughs> <laughs> you circle the world at one night or two so nights. math helped you oh my help God. you discover the truth. Okay, so it's impossible for this dude to be so fast. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus couldn't run faster than the speed of light. But but anyhow, we found another similarity. Even though we were talking about the differences, so uh, could you guys mention any other sorts of Christmas-related cultures that don't exist in another country? From my experience, I have to say the concept of the Christmas market. Of course, uh... in the last few years, there are some Christmas markets opening in Korea as well, but that's actually obviously the impact or. Um, influence of European cultures, I guess. I mean, and the reason is only for the um, addition of festive ambience, nothing else. We don't like, we don't put or um, we don't want to make the new meaning out of that event itself. We are just adding new and more events to, yeah, to like. um, I was thinking that you guys might not have like special Christmas markets because you already have so many like um, street stalls with food and and, and, and like pop-up shops. I mean, I, I remember going throughout Korea and then you always have like street food everywhere, right? But here in Barcelona, you know, Minky, it's not popular. There's no uh, much street food. So when you think about Christmas, then then you sure you have Christmas markets and Christmas food, special food, special presents, but maybe that's because of it, because for us, it's, it may, it's more like, different or 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 new to have yeah you know a regular street there's nothing but now from christmas you have yeah you sure people selling you um, christmas food or christmas uh, decorations whatever but you guys already have that all year long so maybe that's why you don't have this need of a special market or a special occasion to to sell food on the street maybe maybe uh i can add another reason for the non-existence of the Christmas market in the past. That's probably because um, the majority of the influence of Western cultures that Korea um, received is largely from the United States. And I think in the United States, there are no Christmas markets as well. I mean, obviously the Christmas market is a sort of European culture. I mean, I'm not saying that I am telling the truth, but this is what I um, suppose. For me, I mean, the kind of couple thing, romantic day, for me, is is too much commercial. Actually, you know, with the couple, we can, we can stay just together. That's the most important thing for the couple. But for me, in my experience, Christmas means some good restaurant again. Good restaurant, not the normal restaurant. And good hotel. So they can stay one big spending money, like so. That's my uh, so I strongly agree with him. But here as well, we it's it's a strong period for spending money, right? You you spend on extra food um, because you know how Spain it, it is. Lunch and dinners are like three hours, four hours long, and we eat like until we cannot eat anymore. And when you're done eating, then you drink, and then when you finish drinking, you continue eating. It's it's a nonstop thing. So also oh, as well, and in Christmas, people spend way like a lot of money, presents, food, whatever, decorations. Um, so it's 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 
yeah, I mean, I feel what you're saying, Minky, that you're spending on maybe restaurants or hotels or experience for your for your partner, but here you spend a lot of as well on. What was the traditional food? I mean, there there was a traditional. There are many. Food, right? There there are too too many for me to know in, in across Spain. Um, I know here, like in, in Catalonia, we have, um, you know, this special. I I don't know how this is. Um, it's soup with, um, special pasta, which is super big. Like like this, it's called soup? galettes. Super big, yeah. The, like like uh, 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 meat broth. Mm -hmm. um, well, it, it's soup, but it's usually you know you have maybe a small pasta in the soup, but this one mm. is like 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 a fist. It, 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 it's it's so big. Okay. Uh, what else you have? Uh, yeah, special meat, meat, a lot of meat certainly. Um, turrones, you know turrones as well, like chocolates and and sweets, lots of sweets. Um, too many sweets actually. Yeah. There is a big bread. I, I remember what the name is. That's Turon? No, the big, big, big bread. Big bread. Big bread of a little hole. I mean, the, isn't like that a, Italian? It's not no, Italian. No, 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 no. I mean, the big, uh, like big, big bread. bread thing. No, mm. like, uh, like a big, big donut. <laughs> big donut. Oh, Roscon de Reyes. Yes. Right, right, right. Yes, <laughs> the big bread. It's a cake. <laughs> right. It's a cake, actually. It's a cake. It's a cake, and on, yeah. but it's. It's not a donut, so okay. It, it has it has a, a tire shape or or a circular shape. Uh, it's so it, it's like some sort of not bread but pastry, and then inside you might have um, I don't know something sweet like uh, how we call these things in English. I, mean, I don't know cream or things like that. Cream and those of that, and then again pastry on top. The cool thing about it is like the yes exactly this thing uh for those who are listening you cannot see it but it's a roscon de reyes in spain uh with with sweet sweeten it fruits well the, the the funny thing about this is that the bakery or whomever is done doing this they will hide two items inside the the cake right one is going to be a small king right a small figurine a figurine uh, of a king okay, okay, okay. right and then in another it's going to be Oh my God! In English, it's um, what's inside a green bean? What what's inside a green bean? You know the, the, the uh, you know a, a bean, a vegetable inside that there's there's a, a circular things inside the bean, you know. Then one of those things. Anyway, those things goes inside, right? So whomever it, uh, gets the, the the piece of the cake with the king uh, gets the crown. Uh, when, when, when you buy this 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 pastry, you get also a paper crown, and then whoever <laughs> whoever gets this, this slice, the slice with the king, and then you when you bite on the in the cake, oh oh here's the figurine, then you get the 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 crown. But if you get the other thing, you have to pay for the cake. Oh, that's so cruel! <laughs> oh my god, to the kids? That's well, I mean, surely not the the kids. I, mean. <laughs> I think we don't have anything like that in Korea, I Minky. Mean, no. For us, Christmas is not uh, not only for the kids, but also for the adults, <laughs> adults' vacation. So, yeah, I mean, I cannot think of a better word except for commercial, which is the word that Binky mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Korea, okay. it's more of a festival itself. Actually, when I when I think of Christmas, the first thing that I remember is Home Alone. Do you, I mean, do you, do you, like? Because I was solo for Christmas for a long time. I mean, I mm -hmm. had a girlfriend, but in Christmas, I I didn't have a girlfriend so for a long oh, no. for a long years. That's I had terrible a, in Korea. Yes, I had a girlfriend in the spring, and before the fall, I was like I break I broke up. So almost almost all Christmas except one or two, I didn't have a girlfriend, so I watched Home Alone. So you were punished not to go out on the on the twenty fourth. Okay. Yes, that's kind punished. of a punish, like like the prison. <laughs> like, because when I go to the when I go out with the men male friends, like everybody will think that oh they don't have a boyfriend. But wait, you, couldn't you call somebody and just go eat some some your silence and 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 soju on, calling, on the night? Calling someone in Christmas Eve is I mean the, illegal. Considered I, not illegal. illegal, no, 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 no. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Considered special, I have to say. Yes, yes. Especially it's calling a, uh, call, calling friends. I mean, calling a friend with another gender. 
is quite special in Korea, at least. Exactly. Okay, so exactly. It's but not what, like what, friend, what, or friend to friend. Exactly. No, but exactly. what, what, what if, you, if you have another friend who's not, I mean, whatever, you have a male friend, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. and, and you know that this person is also single, can you call him on the 24th and say, let's go out and drink or have a, have a dinner, or that's not, that's not, that, not, not common? That's what so many people do. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's possible, right? If you're both single, you don't have girlfriends or whatever, you can go out together and still enjoy the day. But one on one, single with some just a friend, is not acceptable. Just a friend. <laughs> like, okay, it's a complicated to, topic. Maybe until twenty third, it's okay. Ricardo, I have an I have a good example to um to explain you about the strongness of the symbolic images that we have, I mean, the images that we Koreans have on Christmas. This is a um, this is an example, but this is an exception as well, because this event was held only once in our all, whole history, so which is not like an annual culture. But as far as I remember, like 10 years ago, um, in 2011 or 2012, there was a huge event called the Great War of Singles, which was a mass <laughs> mass blind date. So it was like an event held in lots of squares oh all around the countries. And there were all... Do you remember Minky, right? I remember the name. <laughs> there were like <laughs> thousands of people without any... Um, uh, how to say, without any girlfriends or boyfriends that wanted to meet and wanted to make boyfriends or girlfriends there randomly. So we were called, uh, we uh, even had that event on that year as so well. So it was, was like the a name was the, the, the War of the Singles? How's the, the, the name again? The, the, name the, the Great War of the, <laughs> the Singles. The Great War. That, that's the exactly. exact that, tra translation. <laughs> yeah, but, act, but sadly that event was held only once in that very year because there were Sadly. lots of side effects because it was almost impossible to control the uh, mass population gathering in the squares randomly. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. It should happen every year. <laughs> it, I, I mean, sounds good. Why not? It, ha it only happened once, but on the news, I even remember there were a, th there was a, uh, like, a number of people who yes yes who were yes, yes. able to find their partners yes, there. Yes, yes. There was oh, I guess if there are thousands, I'm sure there's going to be at yeah, least there, one. There match. was kind of debate: is it right, wrong, yeah. or something? Even some got married after that event. I saw that on fantastic. TV. Let's go. I want to emphasize the obsession that we have on making yeah. partners during the Christmas right, times. Right, yeah. Right. Have have you have you ever spent your Christmas times in Korea, Ricard? Not yet. I'm waiting for you to invite me, but I'm I haven't sorry. received an invitation that's yet. That's not acceptable. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's acceptable. Uh -huh. And for and, us, and, it's not a family <laughs> gathering. Uh, I'm gonna have some pills, and I wake up on some pills and wake up two days okay. two days after. Man, that's sad. <laughs> okay. No, but I, I, I would love to go and see like snow in Korea and I've never, never been. That would, that would be interesting. Ah, yeah, right. Come to see the snow. Right. I'm not I'm not sure whether Spanish uh, people will think that the culture of the Christmas in Korea might be a little bit strange or not. But I think obviously the culture might be different because, you know, for Asian countries in general, the that holiday itself is very um, exotic, I mean, originally. So, for example, in China or Japan, they don't celebrate that day. I mean, of, of course, there are some commercial events, but those are not like public holidays, as far as I know. Mm. But in Korea, it's a public holiday. So there might be some of the mixture between our own localized cultures and some of the cultures that are um, given by um, other countries, I guess. Actually, it was earlier than the Buddha's birthday. It, it was interesting. When is Buddha's birthday? I mean, I mean, I, I, what I mentioned earlier is that the foundation, the foundation, the start of the Christmas was in 1949, the before Korean War. 
And the uh, as birthday a public was, holiday, you mean? Yes, yes. In 1970 something, 1975, uh, we had a Buddha's birthday for a holiday. So we have, a, I mean, for us historically, we had a numerous years for mm. the Buddha Buddhism. Right. But still, we had a holiday for all their time hmm. for the Christmas. Okay, I think we've almost shared everything. Do you, do you guys have any other topics to add in detail? Uh, I I want to ask something. Do you have Do you guys have a special memory in Christmas? I can remember one spe- special memory that I have, but this is actually out of Korea. But still, so like in in two thousand. 2010, I went to London in oh. England because at the time, the image of the Christmas that I had at the time in my mind was exactly <laughs> the image of the Christmas from those Hollywood movies. So I, I thought it would be very romantic and very crowded, etc. Like similar things. Love Actually. <laughs> exactly. Love Actually. That, <laughs> like, that, okay. I cannot say the course words right <laughs> it's in awesome. our audio awesome. okay it's good. anyhow it's good that that we made me think of <laughs> the, 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 the atmosphere but however on christmas day me and other all korean tourists i mean there, there were a couple of other friends who were with me were very uh, excited to feel the atmosphere and visiting all the restaurants filled, filled with local people there you guys already know the result that I experienced, right? <laughs> there was almost nobody on the streets and there was very few restaurants that were open, very few cafes open, etc. So in the end, we just spent our day riding a bicycle, nothing else. So there was very tragic memory for me. Sad Christmas in London, I see. Mm. What about you, Ricard? Do you have any of special uh, memory from Christmas Day? Mm, so many men oh. my life is filled with memories great memories <laughs> great special memories um i don't know um now that you mentioned something in, in europe something in london i i remember we went to i think two or three christmas parties uh, from with my company to poland and i i if you go to eastern europe the christmas markets are way cooler than in barcelona mm-hmm. Um, you have to be there. Uh, maybe Germany or Poland. They they're pretty cool. And mm. and I remember, yeah, going there with my colleagues and you know eating meat on the on the street and drinking hot wine oh. on a very cold Polish Polish night. Uh, that was that was nice. That was nice. Um, you know, they're, they're way more crazier with with lights and Christmas trees and everything. Here it's more more subtle. Um, so it's it was good for a change. Okay, I think we've shared all the topics for today and hope we can come back with the better topics with interesting stories again thank you for you guys to um, listen to our podcast and please expect the better and more interesting topic from our next episode have a nice day and merry christmas ahead happy holidays happy christmas happy christmas happy holidays see you guys bye bye bye